Hi everyone, in this video we will see inshallah how to add spinners on active and reactive power values of the load. These steps can also be applied to any other load to for example shunt capacitor if we have more than one generator we have here slack or swing generator suppose we have another generator on other BV buses then we can also add the same uh, steps to adjust the generator settings by these spinners so to add a spinner on active power we can double click on its value we will see this window we can see this one delta bear mouse click how much or what is the increment or decrement of the active power if we press on increase or decrease of the spinner how much should be increased for example 3 megawatts per each click let's say 3 megawatts here we can see the decimal places for example let's say we have two decimal places can you see here 120.00 or for example 1 it will be 120.0 let's say just 0 and press ok can you see now the spinner this will be very easy for us if we want to adjust the load without going inside double clicking on it we can also adjust it the same thing for the megavar if we double click on it we can also change the megavar for example 1.5 okay and here let's say we have one decimal places and let's say okay then we can come to run and see also the value we can change it can you see the values here as we increase it we can also have different values of the network another thing let's say we want to see the voltage drop across the network what should we do to accomplish this we will go to online and select countering and then we will press on countering okay we can see here the maximum and minimum voltage at buses when it is one it will be nominal when it is less than one it will be less than minimum and above one will be more than minimum and we can see here also the colors of these levels so if we press on ok we can see that there is something wrong here it is almost point nine. also if we change for example this one if we change it we can't see any any changes happens yeah of the colors it's supposed to show different colors because of these changes why because we didn't click on continuously update if we come to here ensure that it is also activated this option continuously update can you see here if we decrease the load we can see the color is changing the same things here okay now suppose we have this case okay we have this load and we have also reactive power lots of reactive power and we want to solve this problem suppose also this one this value and we want to solve this problem we have voltage drop at pass 4 what should we do one of the solutions is to install shunt capacitor correct because the purpose of shunt capacitor is to adjust power factors so let's come here to edit mode and go to draw and from the network select a shunt or switched shunt and click on pass 4 let's say it is around for example we have uh, 60 as nominal just nominal and let's select here it is discrete and it is moving with for example 
30 steps and mega var per steps is 2 okay and our control regulation settings on for example voltage okay so the high voltage is 1 or let's say 1.05 and here is 0 0.5 or 0.95 okay and the target value is 1 then we can also uh, come to here ensure that it is down and the pixel thickness is 2 then we can select OK. We can move the readings of the bus a little bit to the right side. And we can also press on this one and change it to 1 megavar per click. Select OK. Then we can come to run mode and we can turn it off or taking it out of service and now we can run the system we can see that there is a voltage drop when the capacitor is activated we hope that the voltage drop issue is solved yeah we can see that it can be also solved can you see the bear unit it was this value 0.91 now it is 0.97 we can also decrease that one to see the its effect can you see or we can increase it also if we want to see the network losses all the losses across the network not just the transmission line before that what if i ask you about what is the losses power losses across transformers because if you go here to edit mode and try to go to draw and select a transformer uh, this is the transformer field and you press on it you can't see any things regarding the power losses so what should we do here for that we have to select transmission line not a transformer so if we press on this we will see that we can select megawatt losses and megabar losses because it will deal with it as transmission line because transmission line is just a branch branch between two buses for transformer it is also a branch between bus 1 and bus 2 so to access the losses megawatt losses and megawatt losses we have to select transmission line the same thing for the megawatt we have to select transmission line select this one and select megawatt losses we can see this one no if you see this message just press no and also we can select the ampere for example here how much ampere is flowing this value and regarding the losses of the network we have to go to field and area field because this value doesn't belong to any of these components it belongs to all the components the whole network so we have to select area and press anywhere then we can select megawatt losses and let's select also area and mega var losses this one then we can also put texts yeah so here we have to come to background select text and press here so we can write here total megawatt losses or total losses between two brackets megawatt equals and select ok The same thing for reactive power. Total losses megavar. Okay. 
we forget to put equal sign and this is your values okay so if we press on run and select tools run we can see that one if we decrease the capacitance the shunt capacitance we can see that one okay we can increase this can you see if we increase on that one we can see that we can increase we can see all these things we can see the ampere is decreasing or increasing by changing the load the capacitance all these can be animated so this is for this video i will see you inshallah in the next video to see how to do fault analysis